Guys, this could be the best Foundry Bulwark set Division 2 has ever seen because you can face tank every goddamn enemy without breaking a sweat, even without shield. Sometimes you can switch between your deflector shield and bulwark shield, but just look at this regen, armor regen. I am facing every goddamn enemy. I don't give a flying F about those explosions, nothing can disturb my happiness. <laughs> I will clap those cheeks as usual, like there is no tomorrow. And again, this is on legendary difficulty, even when with one directive applied, wow, I know a shocker, but still, no damage whatsoever, doing whatever I want. And if you thought that I have protection from elite stacked everywhere, just look at this enemy. It's still legendary difficulty, it's non-elite enemy and my regen take can take it. Mm -hmm, just like your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> anyway, this build is not evolving around any particular skill. You can use your assault rifle, you can use your liberty pistol, your assault rifle can deal insane amount of damage, you have armor regen and that's the reason why this gear set is so goddamn OP right now. And like I said before guys, this set is really really versatile. It can fit every playstyle with some slight adjustments here and there, but the main thing here that you have everything you need, survivability, DPS output, face tanking ability, crowd control, you name it, because with the shield all love from Chungus will be given only to you and that's absolutely OP and even with your SMG you can deal some nasty damage, just look at this example, my shield is at half health, I can sprint by Changa and take all the shenanigans from whole away from three Changas, from snipers, from enemies, from Stinger Hive, and I still can take it. My health is not moving at all, man. My shield, of course, is taking a hit, but I mean, this build. Mm, <laughs> what do you need more, man? Uh, but before we continue, quick word from today's sponsor, dbing.net. If you don't have enough time or good teammates, but you still want to have all the best items in your game, then dbing.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles, they will complete your order super quick. Everything happens through account sharing. This service has been working for many, many years. They have tons of customer reviews. You can check everything by yourself, but now with my promo code AirBDIP, you will have 15% discount on absolutely all services. Link down below in the description. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Drop your comment down below in comment section or contact the operator and rest will be the history. But in terms of this setup, like I said before, you can switch your skills on the fly. Artificial Hive is really handy because it can heal your shield on the fly, you don't have to drop it on the floor, but occasionally I'm putting on the floor when I'm fighting Changas. You can destroy these annoying healing stations to make your team life much easier on legendary strongholds. On top of that, like I said, you can switch for deflector shield. It deals pretty nice damage and I had a lot of fun with deflector shield, especially in solo runs. I mean, yeah. Uh, it, it's kind of fun to run with Bulwark Shield, but uh, for me it's a little bit uh, too slow. So occasionally I'm switching to Deflector Shield to destroy those enemies. And to get more skill damage out of Deflector Shield, we will use Technician Specialization. Because this specialization will provide us with extra skill tier, skill damage, and of course those delicious, delicious disrupt grenades. If you're a solo player, these grenades on legendary difficulty can save your ass. Oh my goodness, shit will hit the fan, trust me, at some point, and these grenades can stop healing stations, can stop chung, stingers on their backs, can stop dogs, war machines, all the shenanigans. For my main guns here, I'm using Kingbreaker, name it assault rifle with perfect flatline talent why it's really dope because it hits extra hard and works really well in this setup we have a lot of protection from elites and on top of that armor regen and you have link at least the point of attachment from technician specialization that will trigger flatline it's a really simple synergy for the second weapon though i'm using vector with Re reformation talent 
just nail one headshot and that's it you are getting extra reaper skill and that will boost your artificial hive efficiency your artificial hive will heal your shield much better now best part about this talent and i mean this smg by itself shreds enemies like there is no tomorrow pure barbecue chicken till this day this could be one of the best smgs in the game i i mean it man in pvp and pv but the main thing that you are getting a lot of shield held back with artificial higher increased efficiency and to increase your healing even more Without artificial hive now, I'm using liberty pistol, stack it and you will get 60% extra weapon damage, that's a lot, that's by, basically by itself allows you to take out these chungus and you can take all the shenanigans from three chungus at the same time, make your teammates life much more easier, I mean it's absolutely insane and when you need to heal your shield make a headshot and boom you will repair your shield at maximum health immediately so this combination is absolutely op of course i paired up this gear set with a ninja bike new exotic backpack and the reason is really simple because we will unlock extra perks from other gear sets and in this case i'm getting armor again all over the place and armor on kill and status effect jesus christ you see i'm using bellastone armory i'm getting armory again and armor on kill that makes me even more unstoppable this combination is so 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 strong man even if you don't want to use for example artificial hive you can replace it with deflector shield boom you are killing enemies with deflector shield, you are getting hell back on kill and life hack. You can replace artificial hive with jammer pools, kill drones for example, kill healing stations, kill all these uh, sniper drones for example and that will give you armor on kill instantly. It's super 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 dope life hack. For chest piece I'm using bulwark chest piece and this chest piece is increasing that uh, health or slash regen I'm getting back from incoming damage from 20% to 30% so really nice chest piece you have a couple options how to run this setup of course you could use perfect vanguard from Gilagard chest piece you would add uh, more armor in this setup and vanguard would give bonus armor to your teammates and you would have immortal shield for a couple seconds so yeah you have a couple ways how to run this setup it would work in this build for sure because you still have a huge amount of regen and yeah you could switch some chest piece second piece i'm using here is golan to get extra more regen and status effect but if you don't have this piece you can replace it with murikami knee pads name knee pads these knee pads will give you extra armor regen as well one percent armor regen skill duration and reaper skill reaper skill will help your artificial hive artificial hive will heal your shield a little bit better skill duration is not really needed so if you don't have decent bella stone armory piece with armor regen and skill damage on you can use murikami uh, knee pads name a knee pads and again if you have on these bad boys skill damage if you don't have skill damage on your murakami knee pads don't use them and, and then i'm using three pieces from foundry boulevard and everywhere i'm using armor regen i tried this set with reaper skill and that didn't work too well so i basically everywhere you now using armor regen for the skills though artificial high deflector shield bul bulwark shield sometimes you can use decoy sometimes you can use gemma pools again uh, or even uh, assault turret combinations are limitless and yeah this build is hell of a op man and it works in solo on strongholds on summit on heroic difficulty yeah maybe you're not killing enemies uh, real very fast but you're gonna complete any mission bye